as the White House COVID team races to learn as much as it can about the Omicron variant, Dr. Anthony Fauci is warning it could spread a lot faster. Mutations would strongly suggest that it would be more transmissible and that it might evade some of the protection of monoclonal antibodies and convalescent plasma and perhaps even antibodies that are induced by vaccine. Oh, it's so frustrating when they say all of that and they scare people and they admit they don't have the facts yet. Dr. Marty McCary is a Fox News contributor and professor at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine, where we've gotten so much of our numbers and material this pandemic. Dr. McCary, great to see you. Um, the one thing that I want to ask you about is research that I know that you're familiar with. We have those biosafety labs. They're, they're a high level lab. How many do we have here? We've got four BSL-4 labs in the United States, 59 in the world. They need to go to work right now to tell us whether or not this new variant binds to antibodies. That's a very simple scientific experiment. It's been done with other variants. We've got the entire world economy on hold right now. We need this answer. We've got $54 billion at the NIH and CDC. They need to go to work and get this question answered because we've got elective surgery on hold, flights yeah. are being banned, and all kinds of things going on. Well, and we've got elected officials around the world, particularly on the continent of Africa, that are pretty upset with Biden right now, saying, well, why are you singling them out and punishing South Africa for actually finding the variant? Real quickly, because you told my team in 12 hours we could know what they say is going to take two and a half weeks. Why do you say that? Well, this is a very simple experiment. You take the new variant of the virus and you take the antibodies and you see whether or not they bind in a cell culture medium. That needs to be done right now. Instead, we get all of this sort of fluff about how we're partnering and talking closely. We're on top of it. Don't worry. The government has it. We don't hear anything about the new medications, the new antivirals like Merck's that's going to get approved tomorrow. Instead, we hear the same old narrative about get your booster, ignoring natural immunity. Uh, people want the real answer. They don't want to hear speculation right now. Uh, real quickly, you, you talked about life being put on hold. I, I want to get to this travel ban. President Biden's travel ban on eight southern African countries right now goes into effect today. Now, my first question was, well, if it were that much of an emergency, why do you wait throughout the weekend of the holiday? I thought that was interesting. Anyway, <laughs> the president said the decision came at the recommendation of his COVID team, including Dr. Fauci. But Fauci himself has said it's only a matter of time before Omicron hits the United States. Well, yeah, because it's in Canada this morning. South Africa's president demanding a reversal. Here he is. We call upon these countries that have imposed travel bans on our country and our other Southern African sister countries to immediately and urgently reverse their decisions. Now, these restrictions are completely unjustified and unfairly discriminate against our country and our Southern African sister countries. All right, one more, and then I can't wait to get to the point where Biden criticized President Trump. Oh, okay, just hold on. Republican Senator Tom Cotton calls Biden's idea now with the travel ban worse than useless. Watch. What President Biden did over the weekend is a typical half measure that reflects the incompetence of this administration. If you want to implement a travel ban, it needs to go into effect immediately. That's what most European nations did that implemented that travel ban. If you don't want to implement a travel ban because you think the virus is already here or that it's counterproductive, then you shouldn't do so. But this is yet another incompetent half measure. All right. So here it is. On the campaign trail, then candidate Joe Biden said this about President Trump's handling of the pandemic. Remember, we were at the beginning here, at the very beginning. We knew it came from China. President Trump said, lock it down in terms of travel back and forth from there. Here's the former candidate Biden. We are in the midst of a crisis with the coronavirus. We need to lead the way with science, not Donald Trump's record of hysteria, xenophobia, and fear mongering. He is the worst possible person to lead our country through a global health emergency. I queue up Dr. McCary. Well, look, I say out of the politics, but I can tell you this. A travel ban is not a travel ban. A travel ban when you have no testing, no specific testing, hmm. is highly effective, and you need to do it indiscriminately. But when you have testing that's specific to a virus, like we do now, 
then a travel ban is basically moot. By the way, Omicron is already in the United States, certainly at this point, based on the number of people testing positive that have already shown up from sub-Saharan Africa. So when we have good testing, as we do now, it's mm -hmm. a matter of implementing the testing. It's not a matter of shutting down all flights, because when you do that, you shut out humanitarian workers, researchers that are collaborating. And by the way, the, tra the travel ban does not apply to Americans. Uh, so it's a very I impartial, it's a very sort of piece together, um, discriminant travel ban that we have right now. Uh, all right, real quickly, because I know you don't want to step into politics. Do travel bans work at like the beginning of this? It seemed to help. But did it not with China since it was coming from there? Yeah, absolutely. Look, it slowed it down so and is, we could have done more. Right. So, so, but now if you say it's already here, I said it's in Canada because they've already confirmed cases. Um, how do we slow these things down? And as, you know, Delta came too. We didn't, I don't understand how they got to this particular move is what I'm saying with this Biden administration. Well, look, it makes people feel good when you have a, a travel ban after testing has matured like we do now. And look, I'm not opposed to a travel ban right now, but it's got to be more flexible when you have humanitarians and medical researchers trying right. to get back and forth and they can't. Or people, people trying to get back to a funeral. Look, I think, I think non-essential travel at this point could be put on hold until we get that experiment done in the BSL-4 mm -hmm. lab. But the idea that we have, you know, a, we've got this taken care of because we've done a partial ban in the future, that doesn't work. Yeah. I, I mean, I just look at the holiday that we just had and how many people were going all over the world and how, you know, just a few days ago, the United States Virgin Islands opened its travel back and forth with parts of the African continent, specifically South Africa. That means you've got people traveling back and forth. So if it's an emergency, stop it. But we waited until after the holiday. Your last quick thought on that. We'll move on. Look, we really knew about this on November 10th. So the idea nice. that somehow like we acted as soon as we got the information, that's not actually accurate. Yeah. Wow. New York Governor Kathy Hochul declaring a disaster emergency in the city on Friday. She signed an executive order letting state hospitals limit non-essential procedures. She said in a statement, we continue to see warning signs of spikes this upcoming winter. And while the new Omicron variant has yet to be detected in New York state, it's coming. Both New York state and city have seen notable increases in the seven day rolling average of COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations compared to last month. What would you say to the governor about that? Well, elective surgery is not binary. It's still uh, very important to do elective surgery, hip replacements, aortic aneurysm repair, cancer resection. So when we stop elective surgery, it has massive implications for health. And by the way, I think what's driving a lot of that is just the staffing shortages that people are not willing to admit are from a non-flexible vaccine mandate. If it were a little flexible to account for natural immunity and some mm. other exemptions, we wouldn't have these massive walkouts that we're having now in chemotherapy shortages nationwide. But if we're going to have a halt on elective surgery in New York because of a theoretical variant that may evade natural may evade immunity which is highly unlikely by the way we're going to be in this state in perpetuity because variants will form f forever uh, and, and just real quickly dr mccary we know that we're expecting to hear from president biden uh, later this hour on the omicron spread what would you like for him to say and does he have any cleanup on aisle seven to do with with regard to how he's handling this well, look, I'd love the Biden administration to recognize natural immunity. It's been their greatest failure. But I would say give people hope and assurance because we don't have any evidence that it's going to evade immunity. Hmm. Ninety five percent of the spike protein is identical to previous variants. So we have a lot of reasons to believe that despite the number of mutations on the Omicron uh, surface, that immunity from vaccination or natural immunity encompasses that. And the new antiviral medications are pan coronavirus antiviral so they will work against all variants and we'll have those very soon i'd love for them also to talk about fluvoxamine it's a medication that doesn't have the controversy of hydroxy and ivermectin randomized controlled trials published mm -hmm. in the top medical journal show that it reduced death by 91 percent you never hear the Biden administration talk about these therapeutics like fluvoxamine and you never hear them talk about natural immunity people need hope right now and if you're immune i think people need to live their lives Wow.
they need you to go there and just knock on the door and make sure those things are said. Dr. McCary, maybe they'll watch right here. Good to see you. Thank you. I feel calmer already. Information does that for you, right? Truth and information. Thank you.